Hello, my name is Joel Christ. I'm a developer of the iSoft Stone, and today I'm going to be doing a walk through the process of consuming web services in Excel 2007. Today I will be using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 Tools for Office to create an Excel 2007 workbook solution. The solution will contain an Office Fluent UI customization that will allow users to enter a search term and then perform a search against the Windows Live Search Web Service API and then embed the search results into the Excel workbook. The first step in Visual Studio is to create a new project. So I'm going to come in and choose to create a new project. I'm going to do it in Visual C Sharp today. I've got Visual Studio Tools for Office installed, so I can come down here and select the Office 2007 project type. And from there, I'm going to choose to create an Excel 2007 workbook. And I'm going to name the solution Web Service Consumer. Say OK. I'm going to choose to create a new document and name it Web Service Consumer as well. So Visual Studio goes ahead and generates the solution for me and opens up the spreadsheet or rather the workbook here inside the designer. So now I can go ahead and add code behind the workbook. This workbook solution makes use of the Windows Live Search API, which allows queries to be performed against the Live Search engine. So the first thing I'm going to do is to come in here and choose to add a web reference to my solution. Now each application that uses the Windows Live Search API requires a unique application ID. To get an application ID, you can go to the Live Search Developer Center by following the link that's provided with the written content that accompanies this video. I've gone ahead and done that, so I'm going to enter in the api.search.live.net URL here, specifying search.wisdl and then my application ID. And go ahead and click on Go. Now Visual Studio goes out and brings back or pulls back the description of the web service which has a single method on it called search. I'm going to go ahead and keep the suggested web reference name and choose to add this reference to my workbook solution. And now Visual Studio goes ahead and adds the web service reference here to my solution. Now that I've added the web reference to the Windows Live Search web service, I'm going to add some code behind the Sheet 1 worksheet that's going to let me query the web service and then insert the results into the worksheet. So I'm going to right click on the worksheet surface and choose to view code. And the first thing I'm going to do is add a couple of using statements to simplify using the classes and types defined in the Visual Studio Tools for Office namespace as well as the Windows Live Search namespace. The next thing I'm going to do is to add a method to the Sheet 1 class, which will allow me to query the web service and process the results. So the method is called display web service results. It takes a single parameter called search term of type string. Um, the code comes down here, first clears the current display of any previously displayed results using the named range that we're going to create in a bit here. Um, and then it sets things up to call the web service. So the first thing it does is it creates an instance of the proxy classes created for me by Visual Studio when I added the web reference. And then it goes ahead and using um, the search request type here, creates an instance of the search request type and then sets it up for the call. So here we see my application ID. Again, you're going to want to generate a unique application ID for your applications. Um, specifies that I'm going to perform a search of the phone book via the sources property here on the request. Feeds it the search term which is passed through to the method. That's going to come from the fluent UI customization we're going to add in a little bit here. Specifies the market of English US and the UI language of English. And then it specifies some phone book specific settings. Um, first, it creates a phone book request object and associates that with the property, the phone book property on the request object. Specifies YP to tell it that we're specifying that we want to hit the business phone book only. Limits the count to 25 and tells it that we are specifying account limit. And then it goes ahead and performs the search against the web service by calling the search method on the proxy class. If we get back results, then we go through and process those results and go ahead and add them to the, to the workbook. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define that named range that I showed up above. And this is used again to allow us to clear any previous search results. Okay, so now we're going to add the Fluent UI customization, which is going to allow the user to enter the search term to uh, pass to the web service. So I'm going to come up here and choose Project, Add New Item. And then under Office, I'm going to choose to add a new ribbon using the Visual Designer. I'm going to rename the source file for the ribbon customization or Fluent UI customization, Web Service Ribbon.cs. 
and choose to add it to the solution. So Visual Studio goes ahead and adds the ribbon and brings it up in a designer for me. Okay, so now I'm going to add the controls to my UI customization here. So over here on the toolbox, in the Office Ribbon Controls, I'm going to choose to add an edit box and then a button. So the user will be able to enter the search term into the edit box and click on the button. That will kick off the query of the web service. So now I'm going to set some of the properties on these controls. I'm going to name the edit box search term box and set its label to search term. And then for the button, I'm going to name it search button and set its label to be search. And we're going to change the properties of the group as well. I'm going to name it web service group and set its label to be web service. All right, so now I'm going to add some code to respond to the user clicking on the search button here. So let me get rid of some of these. If I double click on the button, Visual Studio generates the search button click handler for me. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and make a call to the method that we added earlier in our Sheet 1 class, um, display web service results. And I'm going to pass it the text that the user entered in from the search term box, edit box control that we added to our Fluent UI customization. OK, so now I can go ahead and build and run the workbook solution in Visual Studio. So I'm going to press F5. Visual Studio builds the solution and then launches Microsoft Excel with the workbook loaded. Now I can come over here and on the add-ins tab, if I go over, I see my group here, my web service group here, and I can enter in a search term and click on the search button. And Excel then goes ahead and goes out and performs a query using the Windows Live search web service and returns a set of 25 results. So it looks like it's working correctly. So by using Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 Tools for Office, I was able to create an Excel 2007 workbook solution and then add a web reference to the Windows Live search service that allowed me to very easily perform a query of the search service or using a search service engine and then insert the search results into my Excel worksheet.